Hey guys, Tan here. Um, I want to talk about um, a question that was asked me on um, my last YouTube video, which was uh, somebody randomly mentioned, um, explained um, the DBOL only protocol. So um, for those of you who follow me, you've probably seen me mention a few times that um, you can run DBOL solo or DBOL as your base. Um, a lot of you know I don't like to run testosterone. Testosterone being, you know, it's very and, um, estrogenic and very androgenic. Um, it's high risk of hair loss for those that are prone. Um, a, a lot of bloat. Some people really want to avoid bloat. Um, it's very high risk Um <clears throat> Studies with even TRT doses vary anywhere from 24% people getting gynecomastia and upwards of uh, 70% experiencing um, nipple tenderness. So it's a very high risk uh, testosterone getting gyno. And we know that from the forums and Facebook groups, you know, whatever you might frequent that, you know, testosterone is, is very estrogenic. Um, it, uh, it's side effects, uh, very estrogenic drugs, sorry. Um, so that's why people look to other, um, other drugs to run now, especially since, um, you know, I made, uh, DECA only popular again, uh, bringing it back from the seventies basically. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, uh, D-Bolt base, uh, somebody asked for the protocol of it or how to run, uh, a D-Bolt only or a D-Bolt base, uh, cycle. So um, first I'll start off by, um, I, I might edit the studies in here, guys. I really hate editing. Um, I'll try and do it for those that are interested. Um, so for a D-ball base um, cycle, um, it's been done in studies um, to replace uh, normal androgenic function in the study. It was stated that 15 milligrams a day was a replacement dose. So when using D-ball only, um, that's what I, that's exactly what I like to do. Uh, 15 milligrams as your base, obviously you can run higher, but 15 milligrams is the minimum that I like to be ran. Um, so, um, how exactly do you do a D-ball only protocol or cycle? Um, th there is no protocol and there is no cycle. Basically you take your base, you run as much as you would need to, to, um, to replace your, uh, estrogen, your estrogen needs and your androgenic, um, androgenic activity <laughs> that your body needs. So, um, 15 milligrams, anything else is totally up to you. Um, how I like to, um, run it or, you know, what many of my followers, you know, they'll see me suggest, um, again, I'm not suggesting anybody uh, use drugs or use any dosages. Um, I just kind of have my guidelines. Um, so my guidelines is basically 20 to 30 milligrams of D-Vault of D -vault for a lower dose cycle. That is, that is as low as I would go. Um, I consider 30 to 50 milligrams the uh, medium range and um, 50 to 100, basically the higher range. Um, you absolutely can go higher than this. Um, in the 70s, uh, a lot of this is what I mentioned to a lot of guys that... Um, You'll find this. You'll find a lot of seventy bodybuilders talk about how they use D ball by the bottle. Basically, uh, this wasn't just for D ball; it was for basically every steroid. We have uh, P D Grimkowski. I'm not even sure if that's how you say his name. Uh, you'll find him on record stating that he used D ball by the bottle. Doctor Robert Kerr, a, a doctor from the seventies and eighties, who dealt with a lot of bodybuilders and powerlifters. He talked about um, bodybuilders and and powerlifters using D ball by the bottle as well. Um, one of his highest cases that he ever had was a power lifter that was using seven bottles of D-Bolt a day. Um, I've trialed this myself too when I wanted to see just um, the effects of going so high because I was so sick of injecting. And I use, for a period of about a fair few good months, I used between 200 and 300 milligrams. Um, I wasn't eating insanely great at that time. I was just at a time where it's like, hey, let's see if higher doses will provide more muscle growth. And I was just kind of eating maintenance. So I did not see any extra muscle growth. And I'm not a firm believer in, and the more the more you use, no matter what, increases muscle growth. That has been disproven in animal studies since you know there's not too many great human studies. Um, but the human studies that we do have has shown that is it is not linear that it very much starts to cut off. So uh, one of the studies I like to always refer to is a 600 milligram testosterone study where they use, I think it was 100 or 125, and they went to 300 and um, they went to 600 milligrams. 
and the gains were not linear. Um, the gains increased. I think I'm trying to remember the exact numbers here. Um, I, I remember the 600 milligrams was something like 18 or 17 pounds. And then the 300 milligrams was, I believe, 11 or 12 pounds. So the doubling the dose does not lead to doubling gains. And in animal studies, it shows that uh, muscle growth cuts off completely. Although, again, these studies are not with increasing food intake too. to build more muscle. You know, you're going to require more food. But it's also suggested from uh, another animal study that if we could relate it to humans, that dose of where no more muscle growth, or possibly not even more muscle growth, but where the androgen receptors were maxed out would be translated to about 3000 milligrams. So if you were to take 3000 milligrams of testosterone, your androgen receptors are going to be maxed out in theory. Um, another thing that we see with uh, a lot of pro bodybuilders, and I know the guys like to say, oh, they're lying, they use more, they use more, but we really do see from a lot of pro bodybuilders that 1500 milligrams is a dose that many of them uh, admit that they take. And from my own personal experience working with a lot of um, heavier guys um, in some pros in their area uh, of their field, that that is a dose that many of them actually do take. So um, yeah, so more is not better. You want to take 300 milligrams D ball a day. Um, do not expect an insane amount more results. And it's not necessarily something I suggest either. Um, I've also trialed what they, what Dr. Robert Kerr talked about, uh, which was taking D-ball by the bottle. I took about uh, 1,200 milligrams that last about two weeks. My blood pressure was through the roof. I'm not suggesting this to anybody, but I wanted to see if I would see a difference. Um, I just couldn't keep up with it, obviously. So yeah, um, the protocol is you take D-ball if you feel comfortable. Again, not suggesting anything. Uh, you take it and you take the, the dose that you feel comfortable with running, whether that's uh, uh, 20 to 30 milligrams for the lower dose range, uh, 30 to 50 for medium and upwards of hundred. There's also a study, uh, as for side effects, um, a study with hundred milligrams D ball a day. Um, you know, there was no real liver impairment and a lot of with the, the old typical steroids, you know, when you D ball, we really don't see the, the harsh liver effects. Again, I'm not suggesting anybody to use any dose or high doses. This is just my own experiences. Um, so yeah, re uh, result wise with D-ball only, um, I've run it many times. I, I might throw up some pictures of when I did run it. Um, there's a ton of guys in my following, um, in my, uh, bodybuilding group that, you know, who don't want to use tests and want uh, estrogenic base who use D-ball. Um, and they see re great results too. A lot of them are very big guys too. So, you know, you, you will gain, cause there's a, there's a little like theory out there that, you know, ores are going to lose all of it when you come off, which makes no sense. They do it. Ores do the same thing as testosterone does. It increases protein synthesis, um, anti-catabolic effects, you know, it's nitrogen retention. It's, you're not going to gain a bunch of weight and just lose it because it, it's an oral and injectables magically cause permanent gains. It, there's no such thing as that. Um, so yeah, there's, you know, that throws that out the window. What, what you see is what you keep besides for the water weight, basically. Um, the D ball is an amazing drug. It's, it's one of my, my favorite ones. Probably it's one of the very few that convert to estrogen, because if you are running a uh, no test cycle, you need something that converts to estrogen and D ball is one of the few that does. So it's great for that. It's amazing strength, amazing size gains and amazing fat loss. That's another thing. Many people don't realize D ball is amazing at fat loss. Um, so whether it's for cutting or bulking, it's a great drug. Um, now, as for more back on the topic of how the protocol goes, if you can run anything else you want with it too, because if you're doing just an oral only cycle, you may want to run D-ball at the lowest dose, uh, 50 milligrams just for replacement. And you can add something like T-ball, Anavar, whatever you want. There's no rules to any of this. What I like to tell people is pick the drugs you want based off the side effects you want to avoid. So if you're very hair loss prone, you're not going to want to run Winstrol with it. You're not even going to want to run Anivar with it. Um, but if you want a little bit more hardness, you're going to want one of those drugs. And, you know, you may have to, if that risk is up to you, if you're hair loss prone, then that, you know, that is, that's your choice. But yeah, you can run whatever you want with it. There is no wrong or right way to run things like this. You want to run 50 milligrams D-ball, 20 milligrams Anivar. That is totally your choice. Pick your cycles based off the results you want and the side effects you want to avoid. D-ball solo could be, is great for cutting or bulking again. So yeah, um, basically run it however you want and whatever you feel comfortable with. 
a lot of the new designer steroids i don't suggest um running for long periods or high doses because um the super Joel, as an example there are studies on it i think 30 milligrams showing um uh, liver damage um i'd have to look for that again but yeah a lot of the designer steroids i don't like for that purpose but um yeah, go ahead, run your D-ball, run it whatever dose you feel comfortable. You're going to see gains on 20 milligrams. You're going to see great gains. You're going to see a little more gains the higher you go, obviously. Um, and just enjoy it, basically. Um, what else did I want to share? I guess a little more on the side effects I wanted to talk about. So D-ball and hair loss, if you watch my hair loss video, you'll see there's basically, in my experience, again, over about 10 years now, uh, with clients, followers, is they do not see it causing hair loss. I've seen it like once or twice. And these people already had hair loss prior to their cycle and they couldn't get rid of their hair loss. So to me, it does not cause hair loss. You'll see reports online of people getting hair loss. But again, this is people who are using test with D-ball with their prolactin jacked through the roof, their estrogen jacked through the roof, and they go and add D-ball and they make things a little bit worse. I do not see this causing hair loss on its own. Uh, as for gyno, again, People will notice worsening results when they run it with tests. Obviously, you have more estrogen. However, when it's D-ball solo, just like the hair loss, I've never seen this happen besides a handful of people, literally just a couple. Um, these and An issue here, people say D-ball com converts more to estrogen than testosterone. That is absolutely incorrect. The issue is that it converts into a stronger estrogen. It does not convert into a lot of estrogen, it's just a, just a stronger one. But again, out of my experience with no testosterone in there, you are not seeing gyno. Um, the main other side that you would have to worry about with uh, oral only cycle or orals in general is appetite loss. Uh, a lot of people know this today, why orals cause appetite, uh, appetite loss, and that is uh, due to colitis. Um, it, basically, bile flow is being impaired. So when bile flow is impaired, we see a slowing of digestion bile is our body's natural laxative basically it gets released into uh the small intestine that and this is where it helps digest protein most people think it just that it just helps digest fat but it helps digest protein as well um and again like i said it's a natural laxative and it helps keep uh bacteria out of the small intestine as well so a lot of people you know bacteria can creep up from the large intestine which can cause uh small bacterial overgrowth, uh, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And when this happens, you may notice more bloating. So your digestion slows, you are going to the washroom less, you um, start having bloat. But this isn't in everyone. Uh, you, there's lots of people out there that run orals, no problem. So if this happens, a good dose of Tutka is always great to use. Most people, a side note, most people run it too low. They run it 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams. That's way too low. In studies, it's used upwards of 2,000 milligrams. So if you have digestive issues um, from the orals, have some Tuka with it. I have a post on my forums, or I think it, there's an article. I put the article up now of some other extra items to help prevent appetite loss. Again, that's kind of going off topic. That's its own video. Um... Oh yeah, another thing um, about old pros using it. Um, many of the pros actually ran this solo. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I mentioned that they did run it, but um, I'll, maybe I'll toss up some screenshots of some pros admitting it. Um, Francis Benefato, if I'm pronouncing his last name right, um, he mentioned that that was his first few cycles was Devil only. Who else? Um, Don Harworth, if I pronounce his name right again, another one. Um, he ran D-ball only. Um, yeah, there is lots of guys that admitted to running D-ball only, and obviously it didn't stop their gains from happening. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, run whatever dosage you feel comfortable with, or don't run anything. Again, I'm not suggesting it. Run the dosage you feel comfortable with. If you are to run it, I explained... The, the dosage uh, outlines that I like for D-ball only cycle and the side effects. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's nothing else to add to that. All right, guys, take care.